Hey, how's it going? Alex here from Ideaspot. In today's WordPress tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use Cloudflare optimization to get a very dramatic improvement in your load times. So in this example, we were able to take a site from a 3.1 second load time to a 0.8 second load time in Dallas, a 1.5 second load time in London, and a 1.4 second load time in Hong Kong. So all around the world loading quite quickly. Now this is not using any kind of special hosting. This was the cheapest hosting I could find just to demonstrate that this can probably work for a lot of even very cheap web hosts. Now for this tutorial, I was just testing with a standard cadence starter template and I'm just using a free Cloudflare plan. If you haven't got your website running through Cloudflare already, check out my previous tutorial. I'll put the link in the description where you can set up your free Cloudflare account. That's very easy. Okay, now the plugin that makes this all possible is called WP Cloudflare Super Page Cache. Now you can get this through your plugins, add new and search for Cloudflare. This should pop up right after the official plugin here. Now this will give you the result for free. This will cost $5 a month for WordPress optimization. So uh, before you go with the official version, it's worth trying this one out because you might get the same result for free, which I was able to do. So go ahead, install and activate that one. Now, if you are interested in the official version, Cloudflare actually announced on their blog automatic WordPress optimization. This came out just a few days ago. So this is pretty cool, but it does cost $5 a month for people on the free plan. If you are on a paid plan already, you'll get this included in your plan. But for the rest of us using the free plan, you can actually try out this plugin that I just mentioned, the uh, WP Cloudflare Super Cache plugin. So here we are, we're gonna set this one up. So first step to doing this is to log into your Cloudflare account. Once you're logged into your account, go to your site. Now, if you haven't got your site on Cloudflare, check out my previous tutorial, like I mentioned before. I'll put that link in the description. I'll show you how to get your site onto Cloudflare for free. So go ahead and click on your site. And we just need to go down to API, get your API token. And here is the API token tab. We click that one and we want the global API key. We want to view that one. All you have to do here is put in your password and go through the Google recapture and your key will be displayed. Just copy that key out, go back to our setup. And then we're just going to paste our key in here and then pop in our email that we use for our Cloudflare account. And then we just have to update the settings. And now it's going to say select the domain. So we scroll down and our site should pop up there. We just go ahead and click update again. And now we can enable page caching. So with any luck, it'll say page cache enabled successfully. We click OK. And from here, we can actually test our cache. And it'll say the page cache is working properly. And all we have to do here is we can actually go to advanced and we can actually preload the uh, Cloudflare cache across the whole Cloudflare network. So go ahead and click preload there under advanced. And that is pretty much all there is to it. And then over in GT metrics, I'm going to go ahead and run a retest and just check that this is all working properly. So uh, adding job to the queue, this should end up testing in a second and we should get a report out of this in just a minute. There we go, Ooh, a little bit quicker this time. So yeah, pretty cool result. Now to double check this is all working properly, you can actually load up a uh, incognito window here, pop the site in, and what you wanna do is actually look at the headers to make sure it's caching properly. So go to network, and we wanna reload this page here. And if we scroll up, we can see the top one is ideaspot.space, we can see the headers in Google Chrome. So if you are working properly, it'll say CF cache status is hit. So that means the Cloudflare is caching this page. And down the bottom, we've got uh, super cache is caching. So that looks all good. And you also want to do the same thing on your admin panel. Go ahead and inspect. And you want to go to network here. Go ahead and control reload. We are looking at our top item here. So that is this one. And in this case, the admin panel should not be caching. So we want that to say bypass. And if we scroll down, we can see um, WP super cache is listed as no cache, no cache must revalidate. So that is an important thing to note. You should never be caching your admin panel when you're logged in. 
So I definitely perform those couple tests just to make sure everything is working properly. The other thing worth mentioning is under settings and WP Cloudflare Super Cache under the FAQ because uh, there are a few third party integrations you need to be aware of. So this is if you are integrating with things like Rocket or Lightspeed Cache plugins they can conflict. Basically just go in here and follow the directions. It basically means turn off the page caching on these plugins so it doesn't interfere with your Cloudflare page caching. I wasn't actually even using any page caching uh, plugin to do this. So I still got a really good result even without um, additional page caching. All I was using was the Cloudflare super page cache to do this. And the other thing worth mentioning is this is not a cure all for having slow hosting. This doesn't work on every single type of website. It's only going to be effective on pages that can be effectively displayed statically. So front pages, home pages, blog pages, those kind of pages will work really well. It's even fairly effective on WooCommerce shop and product pages too, for the most part. But if it is worth looking under a uh, third party here, WooCommerce, it won't work on the cart checkout and the checkout pay page. These obviously need to be unique for every single user. So it's not going to cache those. That's not going to work. And I would argue that the cart and checkout are the most important pages of a WooCommerce site. So if you're running WooCommerce, definitely spend some money and get decent web hosting. You can't uh, work around using cheap web hosting if you're trying to do e-commerce. Now you can still use this plugin with WooCommerce. It just means that these pages aren't gonna be loaded through the cache. They're gonna be loaded from your server. So however fast or slow your server is, is however fast or slow those few pages are gonna load. So that's why it's important to have good powerful web hosting for WooCommerce. Now you can get pretty powerful hosting for cheap anyway. I showed you how to set up a Vulture high frequency VPS for just, I think it was $6 a month in my previous tutorial. I'll link to that in the description too. If you want to run a fast WooCommerce site, that's probably what I'd do if I was on a tight budget. And there are probably other examples that aren't going to work really well with uh, this kind of Cloudflare edge caching, such as uh, forums, uh, online courses where people need to be filling in assignments and quizzes, and they need lots of dynamic uh, content from your server. So you need a, a powerful server in those cases. But for your more basic websites and blogs and uh, portfolio type things, this is going to be pretty awesome. I definitely recommend checking this out and seeing if it works for you. Here's another test I performed on the site after installing this plugin. So you can see across the world, the time to first byte is really quite low. We're averaging around 30 milliseconds. Before installing it, we're up around eight or 900 milliseconds in most countries. The server is actually located in Singapore. So the Singapore result was still pretty decent, 148 milliseconds. But by preloading the pages onto Cloudflare's content delivery network, you're able to cut that down. So that is where most of our performance improvements are coming from. All right, that wraps it up. So hopefully that's been useful. Give me a thumbs up if it's been helpful for your website. Like I said, if you're running a simple website, this can really give you a great performance upgrade. Now, if you don't have Cloudflare set up already, I'll pop that video right there so you can set up your free Cloudflare account. That's quite easy too, but thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.